Well, it happened again last night. We got rain. And with that rain came lots of amazing hail that kind of leveled a few fields again. So that's great. We looked at some of the bean fields. They're pretty wet yet. If we get a chance to go on them, it'd be the last two hours of daylight. So I'm gonna head out, grab a couple cobs of corn and see once what our corn's at. Bring it to the elevator, see once what it tests at. Maybe we'll take a little bit of corn off this afternoon. And get, get, get going on beans again tomorrow. We'll see once. Okay, I'm gonna get these things thrashed out. Okay, to the elevator we go. Well, he said he'd take a load. Now it's a matter of convincing dad into it. So we're gonna give him a call. Hello. Good afternoon. He said he will take a load. Do we want to give him a load? Well, what was it? Came back at 17 something. I suppose you're just dying to say, say yes, right? Uh, maybe. Okay, well, we gotta get the spinners on so get your boat home. Okay. Let's go. Looks like we're gonna take a little corn off today. They're here getting the combine ready. We gotta put on these something mabobbers. I'm not sure what they do. I don't know. We're supposed to, we're told they're supposed to put them on a chopper back here. So they're getting that done. Okay, I guess I'm hooking up the header. We got the new used John Deere head here. This thing's exciting. Oh boy. You guys wouldn't believe our first corn header we have. I, I don't even know how that thing even worked. I maybe want to start by going and put work pants on, but I'm too excited. We got to get this going. Doing a quick look over here. Um, This doesn't look like that's supposed to be like that. Not sure why that's like that. But it's always good to look stuff over. Even though it's new, it doesn't mean it's any good. The way it looks, I only see one of them loose like that though. <laughs> We got a large persuasion bar. That ain't working either. I don't know what to do here. Well, I needed my daddy's help then. The big old persuasion bar. That's probably not how you're supposed to put on a brand new PTO, but it's, it's on, it's rusty. Okay guys, so this is a brand new header. Why would this deck plate be lower than that one? I don't know if you guys can see that, if it's focusing or not. Are we missing something or is it just bent? But that just does not seem right. How many you got left? Two. How many did you do? Six. And now what you're witnessing is two farmers trying to PG a combine. Okay, do we know what we're doing or are we just pretending? We're pretending. Me too. We're filling fuel. It's go time. I gotta move the pickup though. today well i'm to the field brandon's still coming he's right over there this corn ain't gonna win any prizes but i, I just want to poke into it once see what our moisture actually is and just make sure the header's working and everything are you ready i suppose i suppose you're not ready you didn't have the power holding hopper open yet i forgot about that Okay, the rotor, we can't get slowed down enough, so I gotta click the switch under here. Yeah. Okay, why aren't we combining yet? Start the header at an idle. Okay, she goes boom. Yep. It's corn! Well, we made it into the field about 100 yards, so now we're gonna do our first check. Okay, yeah, Brian, we gotta change some stuff here. We got corn on the ground. I got a square foot, four, five, six. Oh! A quite a few. First corn load of the season. We were pretty full. Okay. We were max out for horsepower. I like the yields. Yeah, the yield to that was, what did we get up to? 175, I think. I gave this uh, guy the driver's seat and he's complaining about how I planted it. He's a horrible farmer. At least I could have a little fun in the captain's seat now. I told him not to wreck my baby. Only I can. Yeah, you 
wrecked it yesterday. I did wreck it yesterday. Well, his first official load of corn in a combine. And he got cab corn. Shh, don't tell them that. I mean, look at that. Cab corn. What a rookie. I'm not sure what he's doing. What a nice guy, he lets me back on. This is kind of interesting to see here. So right here where I'm standing is where this spring I spread that hay bale to get a mat on the soil to see once if it helped improve yield. And uh, the way it looks, the way it looks, it did. If you look here, we still got green in the stock. We got a lot more trash on the ground now due to corn. That hay down here is still rotting away which is kind of cool and going through it with the combine both before and after the yield monitor was saying high 70s to low 80s but when we got in here we got up to 90. yeah building up the organic matter there helps hold moisture that soil is still super moist down there i'm gonna go to a bare spot now and see what it looks like below that still wet moisture but we got rain last night too you can kind of see it in the corn back there so right right about there is where there's no hay and then you can see the green coming through here see the green coming through here and then right over there is the back side where there's no hay again you can see a different in cob size and everything that's that's kind of cool 10 bushel better i mean this is not corn to brag about 90 bushel corn is kind of bad but for this soil here's a no hay cob where it's just bare soybean ground and then here's where the hay, hay ground was i would say that looks about a 10 bushel yield difference too that's very very cool that's interesting i wonder if we should go bigger and better with this next year spread a couple more cheap bales of trash hay i mean you can definitely see the line happy corn sad corn big cob space tiny cob hay no hay maybe we can start help to fix this sandy crappy soil does anyone around me got some cheap cheap cattail bales or trash hay anything i might be interested we got the field opened up kind of got an idea what this stuff is going to yield we have a lot better fields this is just very poor ground and we got a truckload we guesstimated with the combine because we didn't have a scale obviously i think that looks about right mm -hmm. 